Hello, it is Wednesday the 10th of June 2020 and here we are in the lockdown still. Do you know, I've come to a bit of a magical point. I've just realised, finally, having been chipping away and chipping away at things, I think I'm finally on top of things. <laughs> it's taken this long. I have got a little mission on now. I'm going to go to the post office with that slush puppy maker. It's in here. I've put it in the trolley. I'm just thinking, how can I extend this? Because this is just too short for my legs. I keep kicking the wheels as I'm pulling it along. Do you do this? Every time you throw a bag or a rucksack away, think all oh, those straps will come in handy for something. I'll cut them off and put them somewhere. I do that and I have no idea where I've put them. <laughs> I might have a quick cursory look and if I can't find them, then I'm gonna give up and just go to the post office. But if I can find them, I'm gonna cunningly attach a strap to that, see if I can like pull it along like on a lead or something. I'm going down into the cellar. If it's anywhere, it'll be down here in a box. Actually, do you know what? I'm not on top of things because I've still got a couple of boxes here. This one here and this one here, which I haven't really unpacked properly. They're full of things. I've just thought of a plan for my flute playing. I've been meaning to sit down and write a plan for my flute practice for the next forever because I'm not gigging and I'm finding it a little bit difficult to get started practicing every day because I don't quite know what I'm doing with it. Let me just talk to you about flute practicing a minute. So, I took up the flute when I was nine years old. I am now 45. So that is a whacking amount of time that I've been playing. It's about 36 years. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, just having a moment to take that in. <laughs> anyway, when you've been playing for <clears throat> said amount of years, you get up to a certain standard on your instrument but the problem is if you stop practicing the standard slips and after all those years of a lot of that's been a lot of practice over those years because I've always been one of these people that will practice as much as I can manage to practice sensibly in a week <sighs> see when you get up to that kind of level and then you stop practicing the level slips and this can be very demotivating and disheartening for said musician <laughs> and then you just don't want to get your instrument out because it sounds rubbish compared to what you're used to it sounding which makes you want to play it even less and you just get into this dreadful spiral so I need a project I, I need to not just get my flute out and play it for an hour a day see I figured if I just do an hour's practice a day I can keep it ticking over that's not too much time out of the day and then if somebody rings me up and asks me to do a collab I'll be able to do it without having to have really intensive practice period to get my technique back up you know I still need to do a bit but not as much as if I hadn't done any practice <sighs> but anyway I've just thought of a project that I can throw myself into I have got a lot of sheet music this is just some of my sheet music that's not even unpacked from the move so forget everything I said about being on top of things I was fantasizing now what I could do is gradually play through all the sheet music discarding stuff that's rubbish and not needed anymore so I can be decluttering my music collection thus moving on and forward in life and you know encumbering myself less with worldly material items but at the same time have a wonderful musical journey through my past <laughs> because there's probably music in there from my childhood. There are probably things I wrote when I was 12 and studies I played at age 14 and just so much in there. So yeah, maybe that's what I should do. Just have a like cataloging slash sight reading slash playing hour every day. That'll keep me ticking over, won't it? Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do for a bit until I get bored with it and then I'll come up with another plan. I was looking for a strap. I dread to look in here. I dread to. Ooh. I'm gonna get it off the shelf. I'm not getting it off my shelf. It's just too awkward to get off the shelf, but I can see it probably doesn't have straps in it. straps in it oh my goodness what a find that is just that's like digging in the ground and finding treasure that is I'm so happy yes 
that must have been in my subconscious because I have no actual conscious recollection of having put that in there. Oh, so pleased, right? How am I going to work this now? I kind of have a plan. So I'm going to link these carabiners like that. So I've kind of done it around that bit because it was a bit too wobbly on that bit. Now, you see this, I'm going to stick that over the carabiners because they're a bit rattly and annoying. Now, I could make that the hand holdy bit. Okay, are you ready for the big reveal? Da -da! Look, hang on. There we are. Da -da! Look, patented Imo and Izzy slash hot tuna hand gripper. Lovely, padded, and comfortable. You'd never know there were two jagged carabiners under there. Let's just give it a quick test run around the front room now. Hang on. Come on, then, trolley. Walkies. I would say that is a very good success and now I'm virtually excited to go to the post office. And there was me earlier in my bed thinking what on earth am I going to vlog about today? Every day's the same. I'm going stir crazy. The viewers are going to get bored with the lack of diversity and now just look! Trolley magic. <laughs> yes! I think I have to point out I've just had coffee and it wasn't decaf because I've run out of decaf. I've gone a bit hyper. Of course now the desperate hope is the post office won't be shut for lunch because it's about 12 o'clock. I have packed an umbrella because the sky is looking like that. Okay I've done it. It doesn't shut for lunch. <laughs> I asked him if he shut for lunch he said no eat on the go and he demonstrated he was in fact eating a sausage roll at that very moment. <laughs> I've just stopped to admire the grass verge. I've noticed during the pandemic that a lot of the grass verges aren't being strimmed or mowed, mown, whatever the word is, as uh, normal. I'm back. I actually left at 20 to 12 and I've been in for a few minutes, so that did take 50 minutes. I think I'm going to do scrambled eggs on toast for lunch or scrambled eggs with toast. Izzy will complain, but um, I think I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, no, she's talked me out of it. She's making herself a ham toasty. She says the ham needs using up, which it probably does. Izzy won mum nil. We finished our lunch. Izzy's into her biology. She's still finishing a written assignment, which she's on day three of. She reckons she's going to be another three quarters of an hour, roughly. Because she's going to be a bit of a while, I'm going to go down into Flute Cave and I'm going to start playing through stuff. I think I'll take a paper recycling bag down with me in case I find any loose sheets to throw away. There, I've tied it up on my... Uh, my mic stand drink holder, which I've just attached to the shelf for now. Because <laughs> why not? It's kind of on display, really. I could just put a drink on the table, as I have done. Um, I probably need a charity bag as well, because I don't want to recycle books. Um, I have already started playing through this one just for fun. It's a really old one. And I've noticed it's got a, an Exeter sticker on it, because I used to live in Devon when I went to uni, or college, or whatever you want to call it. I went to Dartington College of Arts and studied contemporary music, but that's a long time ago. The pages are yellow, and I'm not sure if they were supposed to be yellow originally or if they're just old. But yeah, I was enjoying playing through these, so I think I shall continue. I've lost my place now. Yeah, I think I'll just carry on with those for today. I've got my fan heater on and my dehumidifier, which is why it's a bit noisy in here. Normally when I film I make sure they're all off, but it's cold down here. It's warming up slightly now, but as you can see it is pretty chilly down here. It's colder than the rest of the house.
absolutely not stage. She did that for real a second ago. I was like, I'll just, can you do that again for the camera? <laughs> Looks like my practice has just come to the end for now. Somebody's ready to do more biology, I think, are you? Oh, we've only got five minutes left, actually. No, so I'll go and sort her out now. She's done pretty well with that. I'm just going through the folder for biology and human biology and trying to work out if we're on track with the curriculum or not. We're two weeks behind with biology, but that's because we had a big walk on the wild side with um, science altogether and just did weeks and weeks where we just watched science lectures and things like that. So I'm surprised we're only two weeks behind, to be honest. I thought we'd be more, but that's okay. We can easily make that up as we go along. Human biology is not a stress, really, because everything in white is doubled up with the biology curriculum because there's so much crossover. Just to check, anything that's blue is completely new and isn't in the biology curriculum. Anything that's red is in the biology curriculum, but it includes additional info in the human biology. You see, we're doing both. So counting this up now, we've done the bulk of the additional human biology curriculum. We've only got five topics that we need to go into for the whole of that now before starting the exam practicals and revision technique and stuff. So that's pretty good. I've got a feeling we've got a maths um, element to the BMI one. We've done this lesson already in biology, but I've noticed there is some more to do. It is now five to three. I'm just boiling the kettle for more coffee to take down in the cellar. Isabel is continuing to familiarise herself even more with the book Pride and Prejudice in advance of resuming our English literature curriculum, which we're taking a little bit of a break from because she was almost halfway through it and it's a two year course and she just needs to get a bit more emotionally mature before tackling the poetry analysis. This is what I think. So I've given her tasks to just get more familiar with the set texts for a while and then come back to the poetry analysis. And in the meantime, I'm gonna find some inspiring videos of young people that like analysing poetry for us to watch together as part of our lessons because she just needs to get enthusiastic for it before starting again because it's just a waste of time otherwise if she's just like trying to prop her eyelids up <laughs> and force it into her brain when she's not in a receptive state so I think she's enjoying going through Pride and Prejudice again on her own but anyway I'm gonna do another half hour of flute because I only did half of it before she finished biology already so I'm gonna go do that now. I've just realised I said something wrong. The English curriculums, curricula that Izzy's doing are actually one year courses but we decided to do them over two years. I've just nipped out to the shop again. I'm looking for compost. Let's see if it's back in today. I'm all masked up. This is where it would be. Let's back. No, I don't think so. And what a pain. I've come into another shop now, but I'm not seeing compost. I have managed to get some pots though, which is really good. And a puzzle for myself, yeah. It's five past five. I might have just gone a bit crazy. I didn't really mean that to turn into a shopping spree. I was literally just going to look for compost, but the first shop didn't have compost and then I impulsively went to another shop that I didn't think would sell compost. But it turns out that normally it does sell compost, but it sold out in the first week it was in and they're not getting any more till next season. I have been informed, but I did go around the whole shop looking for it first and impulsively grabbing things and putting them in the basket because you know it's quite awkward to go to shops at the moment so since I was in there I grabbed lots of things and it's the shop that doesn't really sell much in the way of healthy stuff so I'm gonna do the tedious rubbing down with a soapy cloth of all these items now and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow bye